This will be our final PowerPoint, probably the most important. Over the last three weeks we've uh, been in the United Kingdom and MI6 has really proven itself um, to be the tool of the devil, as usual. We've overcome all kinds of obstacles that um, they have put in our way, including the stealing of things out of our vehicle and the attempted sabotage of it. Stupid, really stupid, stupid stuff that just proves absolutely that... Um, MI, well, whatever it is, MI5, MI6, whoever you are, you're all stupid, you're all, you're all totally... Uh, let's move along with what this PowerPoint is all about. Take note of this. This is all fulfilling biblical prophecy. It's all coming to pass. And uh, the warning in here is an ardent warning. So the tilt of the Earth was 23.4 degrees. That means when it's in summer, summer in Europe and North America, the distance to the sun was over 94 million miles tilted towards the sun. But now the North Pole is in England, on the south coast at Hearn Bay. If the tilt is the same angle, then the heat from the sun come January, when the distance is reduced to 92 million miles, means that North America, China, India and Europe will face unbearable heat and loss of life. This is the normal Earth Sun cycle. On the left you see Europe and Australia at 94.2 million miles and that's at the furthest distance which is July the 4th. So Europe is pointed toward the Sun, it's summer in Europe, winter in Australia. This is the distance that and the angle that sustains all life. Coming around to January the 4th when it's at its closest, it's been reduced by more than 2 million miles. Europe again facing away from the sun. This is under normal circumstances for winter in Europe and Australia facing toward the sun, tilted toward the sun for um, summer in Australia. This is under normal circumstances. Everything in perfect balance. All a miracle and life sustaining. Now the North Star has always been seen above the Northern Hemisphere. In ancient times, navigators used it to sail back to England. Sailing south, the star became lower in the sky until past Morocco it was on the horizon and further south it was below the horizon. Since June the 5th, 2013, the new axis of the Earth has settled down over Hearn Bay. The problem the Earth faces is prophecy. The world rejects the Lord in his second coming, even though the Pope Benedict XVI has written and, and announced in an apostolic letter for the Christian world that the Christ is returned and he himself is in prison or become a prisoner of the Vatican because of it, in his words, like Pius the Ninth. Within the Black Circle is the location of the New North Pole at Hearn Bay, which was directly north, only by 36 kilometres of where we were staying in Folkestone, southeast England. The latitude north. 51 degrees, 22 minutes, 9.49 seconds. East, longitude, 1 degree, 12 minutes and 9.22 seconds. And this is what the position looks like on a, a larger map demonstrating the rest of Europe. Southeast England, the new North Pole, Hearn Bay. What the world order does not do ever is tell the truth. I will. On December 11, 2011, at 1111 a.m. Eastern Australia time, the solar system travelling at 69,000 kilometres per hour at a 63 degree angle crossed the equatorial line of the Milky Way galaxy. The galaxy, incidentally, is 100,000 light years wide. Therefore, the distance around it is pi which is 3.14153 multiplied by 100,000. 
314,153 light years. Now we had cameras at that time setting up watching the moon and at 11.11 .11 it started to flip and an hour later it rotated 180 degrees to be upside down and then within hours it uprighted itself. And here's a simple diagram. Galaxy being a 100,000 light years wide. We were below the equatorial line of the galaxy. However, we crossed over to the north side at a 63 degree angle. And of course, there's the Coriolis effect of the galaxy. So December 11, 2011, at 11.11, 11, the Coriolis effect of the Earth was overcome by the effect of the galaxy. So you have the Coriolis of the Earth and the Coriolis of the galaxy all operating at the same time. However, the galaxy is stronger. It's mightier, if you like, than the Coriolis of the Earth. So it, 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 it overpowered the Coriolis of the Earth. And at that time, you'll remember all the experiments that we did for days at that time. It reversed the uh, clockwise to anti-clockwise draining of water in the northern and then the southern hemispheres. So they reversed. It went from clockwise to anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise from anti-clockwise. It went to clockwise and from anti-clockwise in the southern and it's still doing it now. With, uh, we're here in the northern hemisphere and it's still draining anti-clockwise. The opposite to what it used to. So it was this that caused the moon flip and the earth to wobble. It's entire flipping upside down that was predicted by so many uh, of the world order, the, the scare tactics, and uh, that's what they were, the fear and terror from the earth flipping upside down and what would happen in that scenario. But it was stopped by an Antarctica, and uh, all by perfect design, of course, of the Creator. The angles of the Earth crossing the equatorial plane of the galaxy add to this the floating massive damper that we call Antarctica. It saves the Earth from following the moon flip and the predictions of all the idiots out there in Jew World Order trying to scare everybody. Antarctica is a ring of mountains enclosing a vast area. The total area is 5.5 million square miles and that's as large as the USA and Australia combined. It is ice, and it floats in the ocean, pressing down on the ocean floor 20,000 feet, and below it, the Earth's mantle protrudes up to the solidified rock, which is also floating on the surface of the sea of molten magma. Now, as said before, the distance to the sun determines the weather and it is important to understand the angle of the Earth's axis is what keeps the temperatures at a life-giving level. Water draining has reversed and so have the clouds forming along the equator. Satellite images of the clouds forming will demonstrate the new Earth equator and spin. Therefore, once the world order realises what I'm telling you, they will start a fake feed to put you off the scent while they go underground into a vast tunnel system with all the facilities to last hundreds of years. The threat of nuclear war is a diversion. All magicians draw attention away from what the left hand is doing as it does the covert action. reiterating the normal Earth-Sun cycle, the distance and the inclination or the tilt, perfection sustaining all life. With the New North Pole in South England, the axis through to the South Pole is near New Zealand and it will be extremely cold. New Zealand will not be missed as it is the most vile nation with every form of satanic practice imaginable. 
in the Talmud, the ancient Babylonian mystery religion that I condemned in 30 AD, child sacrifice, drinking of blood, etc., is mentioned and quotes, and quotes state that if one wants to do evil to go to another city. Well, Fiji and New Zealand are awash in every abomination and if brought to the surface would be like service stations on every corner. New Zealand was particularly attractive being 888 miles between latitudes, therefore offending Jesus. My number 888 in Greek, Gematria. New Zealand is almost an Antarctic situation with short daylight hours, very cold, and the northern hemisphere will mean death from heat. Here is the demonstration of the North Pole, South East England going through to the South Pole, just short of New Zealand. Australia itself will be protected. Temperatures will drop further than it is presently. Tasmania, Melbourne, Adelaide, cold and North, and North Sydney and Perth livable but very cold. Australia reports that temperatures have dropped dramatically for winter in June indicating the tilt is towards the sun, which is bad news for the Northern Hemisphere when it will be closest in January 2014 at 92 million miles. The sun at 92 million miles and a tilt toward the sun means extreme heat for the Northern Hemisphere. If the new pole and tilt were beneficial to the Earth, the pole star would be over the south of England. It has not moved. The Earth tilt has, because the pole star can no longer be seen from England. Normally the North Pole, pointed at the pole star and seen in Europe and North America, it is now gone, dropped below the horizon. Therefore, it indicates the tilt is at the sun. And as the Earth moves from the July 4, 94 million mile position to the January 4, 92 million mile distance, the unbearable heat will take place throughout the Northern Hemisphere. In January, Antarctica will not melt. It will freeze further out to sea towards Australia. North Africa, Europe and the USA will heat unbearably and men will pray to die. What's interesting is we've driven across Europe, well, from the United Kingdom over to Poland, back down through Germany, Switzerland and the length of Italy these last few days and while in Switzerland at Steckborn it uh, was 34 degrees for, for two days in a row which was 10 degrees hotter than normal for that area and when I looked at the weather charts for Rocklaw they're experiencing 28 degrees much higher than normal and uh, reports from Bahamas, from John Hall, saying it was uh, 80 degrees in the shade there, about 20 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than what is normal for this time of the year. Watching the car temperature, driving down from Switzerland the length of Italy over to the east coast and back towards the west where we are now, the temperature reached a, a high of 37 degrees and uh, dropped as the sun got lower in the sky and, and night came on, however. But 37 degrees for this time of the year is uh, not normal at all.
If the tilt moves away from the sun, temperatures will normalise, and my calculation sees the axis pass through Stonehenge, 212.7 kilometres west of Hearn Bay, and that's a reference to 1st Chronicles 513, 2127, the number for Zia, all to do with the genetic key to the house of David and identifies Rhiannon. Now, it eventually will normalise. That's what the, the planetary system that's moving in from the south is all about. It's influencing everything going on now, and it will normalise everything eventually, but not before these months of extreme heat when men will pray to die and they will be unable to. This is the old north-south pole axis angled at 23.4 degrees and below the horizontal line of the sun as it moves northward at 69,000 kilometers per hour pulling the planets behind it. This is showing July each year. The distance is over 94 million miles, which is perfect for life. On January the 4th each year, the distance is reduced to 92 million miles. The northern hemisphere is tilted away 23.4 degrees. The southern hemisphere is mid-summer and the northern hemisphere is mid-winter. If the tilt was the other direction, the planet would not support life. Creation made it perfect. No homosexuals, child molesters in churches or Judaism. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because of the same abominations. In fact, the former bastion of Christianity, Germany, has passed laws that parents should masturbate their children. The National Party in 2009, children are handed booklets printed by the government to take home to their parents. These children are in kindergarten. The idea, apparently, is to develop a child's sexuality. Child pornography is also planned. It's all from the abomination that makes desolate the Talmud behind what rules in Western civilization, driving the beast, Israel and the Western nations. With the return of a binary system, a smaller sun and planet, it has approached the solar system from the south has been photographed by our team, shifting the position of Antarctica by rotating at 90 degrees, acting like a damper, stopping the Earth from a complete flip upside down. The new poles are temporary, but will take months to recover as the new planetary system settles down in relation to the Earth, scorching the northern hemisphere. As of June 2013, Australia reports temperatures have dropped dramatically, indicating the tilt is towards the sun which is bad news for the Northern Hemisphere when closest in January 2014 at 92 million miles. If Australia was warmer, then the North would be cooler. However, each day the Earth is closer to the Sun, temperatures will increase unless the nations repent of the Zionism blindness creating wars and threatening World War III. Although by January Australia will warm up, New Zealand is near the New South Pole and will be very cold as it 
is within the former area of Antarctica. The white line is from Hearn Bay in the United Kingdom to 942 kilometres off the coast of New Zealand. 942 being the number of verses with Jesus in it in the 1611 King James Bible, another sacred number. Therefore, almost Antarctic, short daylight hours, very cold for New Zealand, and the Northern Hemisphere death by overheating. There's only one way to stop it, and that is to obey God. On the earth, Emmanuel, God in the flesh, God with us, Brian, Leonard, go lightly, Marshall, the Lord Jesus Christ. This means that Perth, Melbourne and Tasmania will have severe cold. If the new pole and tilt were beneficial to the Earth, the pole star would be over the south of England. No pole star Polaris the tilt towards the sun is bad news for the Northern Hemisphere when closest in January 2014 at 92 million miles, unbearable heat and Australia extreme cold. In addition, we have witnessed two light sources as we drove from England to Poland and back to Switzerland and then down through Italy. In January, Antarctica will not melt. It will freeze further out to sea towards Australia. North Africa, Europe and the USA will heat unbearably and men will pray to die. Why? It's prophecy. Quoting, and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion, when he striketh a man, and in those days men shall seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them from the Revelation chapter 9 verses 4, 5 and 6 then Matthew 24, 29 immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. The brightness of the two light sources at this time on June the 17th, 2013, is so bright that there are no stars. Add to this the countless millions of chemtrails of Zionists are pouring out over the sky prevents a clear identification of the constellation, which will prove the angle the Earth tilt is on this date. It is 8 p.m. at the moment and we have a miracle. Yesterday at this time it was overcast and I counted 12 jets pouring out their venom in a few minutes. This morning was the same as we walked to the town centre for breakfast around 9 a.m. At 8 p.m. I set my astronomy program for Steckborn, Switzerland and it places Saturn and Virgo south just above the horizon. We looked at the moon and Saturn and they were directly overhead. We set the location of Steckborn south to 13 degrees south of the equator, central Angola, Africa, the same longitude. And visually, the moon and Saturn were overhead when the astronomy program indicated what the sky is above, Angola, 